When Veep dropped the satirical comedy's original premise, the HBO hit ended up becoming even more celebrated and successful. It is always a big risk when a popular TV comedy moves away from its central concept, but this is also an essential part of keeping a long-running series fresh. From The Big Bang Theory to New Girl, countless hit TV shows dropped their original premises in favor of new central conceits as they continued. Although every season of Veep was acclaimed, the show's incredible set of Emmy wins proves just how much moving past the titular pitch was essential for the satirical series. Veep followed Julia Louise Dreyfus' Selena Meyer and her team of aides, assistants, and assorted backstabbers. A vicious political satire, Veep portrayed Meyer's time as vice president as a series of escalating failures and nightmarish PR debacles. However, Meyer's was never all that sympathetic despite her struggles. Louise Dreyfus' power-hungry protagonist was too callous, uncaring, and unhinged for viewers to root for her, which made Veep's bittersweet series finale all the more effective. Myers finally gained the presidency, only to lose it and then gain it again, thus fulfilling the potential of her character and making Veep season 8 unnecessary. Veep got better after Selena stopped being vice president in season 3. Selena's stint as POTUS and her subsequent downfall improved her arc. Despite the show's title, Veep improved after Selena Myers received a promotion and left her vice president role behind. In the season 3 finale, the president resigns and opens the door for Selena to become POTUS, finally granting the amoral politician her greatest wish. Of course, Myers went on to lose the election in season 5 thanks to a constitutional technicality, and she subsequently spent season 6 and 7 clawing back power and influence as her team crumbled. While this fate was fitting for the uncaring, overly ambitious character, that is not the only reason that this twist worked. Keeping Selena Myers in the vice president role would have been a waste of the character after the first three seasons mined that position for all its comedic potential. Despite Veep Season 7's many celebrity cameos, the final outings of the show were far from tired or predictable. Myers scheming while playing second fiddle to the president eventually became formulaic, which is why seeing her assume the highest office only to lose this position was a compelling turn. Selena Myers fulfilling her goals and losing everything was tragic and hilarious, whereas her vice presidency was comparatively one note. Veep couldn't have been so successful without changing its premise. Selena's second-in-command role limited her character's potential. Selena drifting off on the poster for Veep. Keeping Selena Myers relegated to the office of vice president wasted her potential after three solid seasons drained this position of all its comedic potential. What made Louise Dreyfus' character so intriguing was her endless ambition and lack of moral scruples. Thus, the vice presidency, while a powerful position in its own right, limited the scope of her career. When Myers assumed the role of POTUS, this was both a reality check for viewers who assumed she had a moral center and a hilarious opportunity for her to sabotage herself and others on a bigger scale. Myers might have lost the election due to an obscure constitutional quagmire, but she failed as a politician entirely on her own merits. What made Veep one of the best British TV adaptations ever was its refusal to tone down the cynical nihilism of its original inspiration, the thick of it. Like that cult hit's anti-hero, Myers was a victim of her own ruthless incompetence in the end. If she never got a taste of the presidency's power, she wouldn't have been compelled to spend seasons 5 and 6 trying to regain the office and losing her entire team in the process. Veep's impressive Emmys record explained. Julia Louis-Dreyfus won six outstanding lead actress Emmys for Veep. Jonah and Selena in the Veep series finale. Veep managed to win a staggering 17 Emmys throughout its seven seasons, but that is not the show's most impressive achievement when it comes to awards. Although comedy veteran Louis Dreyfus already had numerous nominations and two Emmy wins to her name before the show began, she set a record for the highest number of Emmy wins in the same role when she earned six Emmys for her portrayal of Selena Myers. Veep's characters did some terrible things, but they still managed to win over the critics and awards voters, with every season of the series earning critical acclaim and other awards. Veep dropping the show's original premise was an essential ingredient in Louis Dreyfus' winning streak, since the show's changing story allowed her to illustrate new sides of the character. Veep's protagonist starts as a cynical pragmatist who is willing to sacrifice a lot in the name of power, but has some moral fortitude at her core. As Selena Myers grew more powerful, she lost any connection to her old morals and became increasingly cruel, aggressive, and thoughtless. This made Veep a compelling character study that doubled as a laugh-out-loud comedy, thus earning its record-setting string of awards.